pending i think because of network i think it is yes sir okay 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 so uh, welcome to all of you in today class so hope my screen and my audio is properly you are able to understand yes yesterday we st have already started the hat yoga pradipika it's it is at pradipika so already uh, discussed that in the starting the swatma ramji he was saluting to the lord shiva adinath ji and he uh, told the what is the goal of the hat pradipika okay and who is the author of this book swami swatma rama and why what is the purpose of writing this book okay to get give the exact knowledge of the raj yoga that's why swatma ram ji he wrote he wrote hat pradipika book and uh, he described few as like uh, uh, matsendar nath ji goraks nath ji they got the information the got the knowledge of the hat yoga as like same that nath parampara swatma ram ji also got the knowledge and he described 33 names of the gurus adinath matsendra sabar bhairava etc 33 kinds of the nath yogi and they are the mahasiddh yogi and they invented and they uh, maintain the hatha yoga knowledge and they, uh, they all are the khanditva kaladandam they are beyond from the uh, birth and death cycle and at present also they are the immortal okay so what is the importance of the yoga we can cure all kinds of diseases that may be spiritual that may be environmental that may be physical all kinds of uh, problems we can cure through the hatha yoga and it is the base of the all the practice okay as like the tortoise yes yesterday sir have a question uh, yes ma'am uh, sir what is the spiritual problem spiritual pony spiritual meaning that uh, which we cannot uh, uh, give the cause as like the earthquake no any coach so that kind of problem which has no any uh, hand of any human being that problems we called the that are the spiritual problems okay adhyatmik dukh when you will study the sankha darshan in the sankha philosophy in the first sutra of the sankha philosophy about the uh, three uh, uh, teen tap there is three tap Ad adibhotik adhyatmik and the uh, adibhotik adhyatmik one more there uh, adhidaik Adi, 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 okay and according to that adhyatmik is the that mental issues there but most of the time adhyatmik we take care which we have the no particular coach okay yes yeah in the uh, yes yeah, sutra number 11 it is the hat vidya param gopyam yogi naam siddh michhita bhavet viryavati gupta nirvirya tu prakashita it means that uh, so it is also you can see that uh, most of the yogi who is actual yogi they do not come they do not uh, highlight himself they do not uh, want to uh, uh, showing life they lives in the mountains himalayas forest okay they and who is the less knowledgeable very hardly it means the actual yogi who will not uh, live the swing life what is the reason behind it it is the because bhavet viryavati gupta okay gupta gupta meaning the if he secret the knowledge then it will improve okay their power their siddhi it will improve and nirvirya to prakashita nirvirya meaning it will revolt meaning it will be less effective it will reduce to prakashita prakashita meaning if we are sharing with everyone for example Uh, okay i i got the uh, power or that i can fly in the sky 
and uh, in the public place i'm showing my power and i'm flying uh, to in the uh, railway station in the bus stand in at the normal road then what will happen yes please guess what will happen in that stage your power will be less no no why what is the reason behind it why it will less because you didn't keep it secret no 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 please use your logical mind if i am so Ill, uh, okay uh, our concentration the... is not on the practice uh maybe or not be but not uh, satisfy with your answer so most of the media will not leave me it is common it is common media will not leave me <laughs> and uh, they will search me everywhere that person who was flying in the sky uh, where he is living okay and if they got me then uh, hundreds and thousands of, of people will come to me how can i do this are you agree sir also our goal will get now uh, yes, and now next stage your answer is in the next stage. then what happen then i have to give time to the, to the that guys and if i'm giving my time to those those guys those media the others guys then i will not able to practice myself and if i will not practice myself then how can i will get the next siddhi okay most of the time many people they got the siddhi in the hasta rekha the line hands lines and they make uh, it uh, their profession and that's why they their powers only from that they cannot get uh, go to the next level so if we want to go to the next level then what we had to do we have to make secret if we publish ourselves then the people starting approaching and we have to give the time to them and because of that we will not able to focus on our next practice that's why automatically our powers our siddhis getting down that's why these kinds of uh, lines are there nirvirya to prakashita okay one of you please conclude this uh, sloka you mean somebody sir yes ahead, yes first yeah so in this loka it is mentioned that hata vidya param gopya yogina siddhi michchada those yogis who want to attain hata vidya it has to be kept as gopya secret so only okay. then the power comes and if if they publicize and if they uh, uh, if they are showing it to all then the uh, power will be uh, they were, their power will be destroyed so we have understood that if we publicize the siddhis then we will be um, getting the unnecessary attention which will demotivate yogi from his path towards success excellent yeah next today what we are going to very very important topic today we are going to cover uh, first this slogan is front of us which uh, what is uh, which place we should practice and second we will uh, study which kind of hut yogi should be or home you can say yogi should be and which kinds of uh, the obstacle path in the yoga which we have to be which we have to be carefully about that and try to avoid that today we will cover that that we call the that uh, badhak tattva and we will today also cover the sadhak tattva and if get time we'll try to cover the yama and the niyama also okay so in the sloka number 12 it is su rajye dharmike deshe su bhikshe nirupa drave dhanu praman paryantam shila agni jal varjite ekante mathika madhye sthatavyam hat yogina yes it is about the which place yogi has to select 
for the practice so the first condition this one two times i noticed this question in the ugc one times this sila agni jal varjite this questions came sila agni jal and one times dhanu praman this questions came and one time subhikshi this questions came so anyhow ugc can ask questions in the exam so it's important shloka you have to remember it okay so the first quality of that location of that place should it is surajya surajya meaning that place should be well administrative it means the king because at that period that was the kingdom king there okay that king should be spiritual and the all the uh, that uh, humans also should be spiritual surajya that's meaning surajya it and it is well administrated the administration department also should be good they should not be corrupted dharmik desh that should be spiritual all the human spiritual meaning if you are going to for the arms they give to, to you otherwise they will avoid you and most in the most of the times uh, the in india it is common if anyone is coming to the front of our door so most of the people they give something to them something food something money something it's extra we give it's our culture so it is the one quality of the dharmik desh okay so that place should be dharmik desh so bhikshe if yogi is going to their so bhikshe meaning bhiksha mangna bhiksha meaning arms to getting the because yogi cannot work who is practicing okay to in the total is 24 hour uh, 24 hours and out of 24 hours uh, more than uh, 10 hours 15 hours he is practicing yoga in this case how can he go for the work and for how can he earn the money so it is common that he will uh, he will uh, that demand the arms he will go to the door to door and he will ask the food bhiksham dehi bhiksham dehi it means su bhikshe it meaning that place the human should be that kind of personality they can they can they should be give to arms to the yogi nirupadrave nirupadrave meaning that no any kind of natural disaster there no as like uh, that uh, no uh, earthquake there not too much raining season there not uh, uh, that too much heat there okay if humans at that location that country will be good then automatically that yogi will be well he can survive easily in that location okay if the opposite reason there if the country guys they are not getting food properly how they will give to arms to the yogi they cannot give na that's why the country should be well administrative no any kind of natural disaster should be there okay now first you have to you selected the country which country which location you have to select for the practice and india india is one of the best country of them and in india you will select which place you will do practice in south india north india anywhere everywhere is some positive guys everywhere is negative guys you will select which location you will select for the practice so and one thing also please remember that because this text is written in the 14 and 15th century so it is common that uh, swami swatma ram ji mind set as like that okay not at present in modern era okay so think like that in that period that that kind of uh, location that kind of, okay should be there dhanu praman paryantam so it is about the hermitage it means for example it is a yogi hut okay i am drawing a little hut a yogi okay are you able to see the screen which i am drawing here yes okay now he is telling sila agni and jal 
three words he is telling sila meaning stone agni meaning fire and jal meaning water it meaning it maybe river is here okay their distance minimum dhanu parman paryantam one bow dhanu meaning one bow minimum uh, approximate three and half they are telling one and a half meter sorry one and a half meter he they are describing so this kind of uh, distance minimum should be there from the river from the fire and from the mountain uh, stone meaning mountain okay the, so this uh, distance should be there and, and how much distance he is telling here yes please dhanu pramana dhanu pramana okay if we convert dhanu ka pramana in the meters then how much meter one and a half meter one and half meter this question has been asked in ugc and sila agni jal this sequence also has been asked in ugc sila second agni third jal water okay so that three things should be apart one and a half meter from the yogi hut is it clear to you now after selecting that place then ekante mathika madhe ekante meaning that place should be lonely not be city life in city life you starting to meditation and neighbors you are getting sound vehicle sound that that will disturb your practice okay so that place should be ekante lonely place no any kind of extra disturbance should be there mathika madhe at the center of the hermitage center here the yogi is practicing satavyam hat yogi na practice of the hat yoga the yogi will do there yes one of you conclude this shloka Here, Swatma Ram is saying that the place of the yogi, uh, मतलब where he is living, it should be spiritual and uh, well administrated, uh, where yogi can get bhiksha arms, and uh, his uh, his hut should be uh, away from rock, fire, and water. Uh, about one and half meter, and uh, minimum, minimum uh, anything, but minimum distance it should be okay. Acha okay, minimum one and half meter away from water, rock, and fire, and uh, place should be lonely. He should be living lonely in his hut. Yes, good, yeah. nice. Yeah, next is the uh, about the. yes about the particular which kind of hut yogi should be okay so i think it is in the two lines yeah okay yeah english medium students alp dwaram alp dwaram meaning the door should be small for example if i am showing a making a hut here the door should be smaller but in the modern homes if anyone is making small door so it, it is not looking good every home you will see good looking house big door <laughs> big entrance should be there it means uh, the house is good if big small entrance the house is not good but in the yogi case it just opposite because yogi is not uh, living in the swing life that's why he does not care his hut is looking so nice or not that that okay he selected the hermitage only for the practice not for the swing that's why the door should be smaller alp dwaram next is telling arandra it meaning no any kinds of cracks and holes or any kinds of window should be there because in the window then easily snakes then our other insects they can enter in his heart because only already it is describing that that place should be lonely 
near to, uh, in the forest area it should be near to that okay and it is common the that uh, uh, that insects can enter in his heart and they can harm to the yogi that's why proper it should be covered no any kinds of holes and cracks and no any kinds of window there and then he is telling garth vivaram okay it is we have covered natyu chini chayatam it means that place not not be too high or not be too low if it is too low then he will face the oxygen problem if that hut is too high at the peak of the mountain then flow of wind will be faster and it will also disturb the yogi it means the place not should be high not should be low at the medium level it should be normal air should be passing from it that place okay then he is telling samyak samyak meaning properly go me sandralipt mamlam sandralipt meaning proper whipped by the cow manner cow dung why cow dung because cow dung has that kind of quality that uh, it be called that it can uh, it clean the air in the hermitage okay and if any kinds of extra bacteria is there then it will kill that also so overall on the health perspective cow dung is important in the hermitage and you can see in our tradition also in the villages if you visit any uh, visit any village then you can see this tradition is at present also they are following regularly or weekly they are whipping their floor with the cow dung at your home uh, maybe anyone is there who is using this tradition at your home in my village sir yeah in the village in the city life it is uh, little difficult but in the villages at present also it is common then mamalam meaning mamal automatically amalam meaning no any kinds so of uh, that extra what we called mal mal meaning impurity should be there it meaning that place should be clean okay no any kind of impurity there then he is telling nahi says jantu no any kind of extra jantu meaning extra insects or any any kind of bacteria should be there proper well cleaned okay and then he is telling bahiye mandap bahiye mandap mandap meaning that thatched roof this kind of structure may be you seen something wall and i also prepared a picture to you so you can see so this kind of that we called that chit roof okay bahiye mandap it we call them and this question also has been has come in the exam mandap vedik this this you just see come asked in the question which kind of uh, the Uh, extra activities should be uh, extra things should be uh, in the uh, hermit yogi hermitage so mandap vedi and the kup bahi outside it is outside and inside that the the whipped from the cow dung no any holes and cracks there so these things you have to be very carefully okay so mandap mandap is we call the that chit roof vedi vedi in the generally you see the out of the roof that uh, here is no vedi but i will draw here so yeah here it is vedi generally you can see view carefully so little upside like a stage more, sir like a little yeah, high you can see and most of the time this kinds of stone should outside the front of the gate sai baba picture may be you seen most of the time he used to sit on that stone that stone you can assume that it is the ved vedi okay is it understood if yogi inside he is practicing 
okay outside also he can do practice here and next he is doing coop coop meaning outside a coop meaning well so here well should be why well is near to the house can you assume well, for his water needs sir so that he need not go far off to fetch water yes it is common for in the many yoga practice that without food yogi can survive or any humans can survive for many days but without water it is really so difficult to survive okay that's why here swatmaram ji is highlighting the importance of the water and that okay if uh, that well is one or uh, far over one or two kilometer far away then most of the time yogi will waste to bringing the water that's why he is telling the well should be to the front of the mandap front of the hermitage okay the what what three kinds of things he is highlighting here please repeat mandap vedi khup excellent mandap vedi and and try to remember these sanskrit words because it is common in the exam sanskrit words most of the times they ask they use okay mandap vedi and the khup prakar samveshitam prakar meaning the yogi hermitage lakshman rekha you can say <laughs> for understanding is it a compound wall is it yeah not any he is not telling which kind of wall but uh, something protection should be there okay why protection because only alone place yogi is living so wild animal can attack to him if no any kind of uh, that protection there understood that's why so outside the hermitage a proper prakar meaning wall should be there that material any material but something protective means the other animal they will not harm easily to the yogi otherwise he is practicing here and he come and he eat him then what the benefit of the practice okay the safety is first because now he is in the beginning stage he is not any kind of siddhi so beginning stage as like you and me and we have no power if wild animal come to front of us yeah if he activated his powers then that is another method another thing but in the starting case this uh, the these are the necessary for the yogi okay and then he uh, next is proktam yog mathasya lakshanam lakshanam meaning these are the symptoms of the hermitage of the yogi siddhi hata abhyas bhi it meaning who want to get the siddhi perfectness so that kind of hermitage should be otherwise it is really so difficult to get the perfectness in the yat yoga yes one of you please uh, conclude it may yes, i sir yes yes so in this shloka swatmaram is suggesting that the matha should have a small door ideally uh, avoid windows and uh, no holes if possible and uh, then uh, the the whatever seat he is sitting it should be neither too high nor too low sir uh, and uh, then uh, ideally this place should be very clean and uh, the walls or the house should be smeared with cow dung so that there is no mala and uh, none of the insects uh, they come then coming to the outside and atmosphere or environment it should be uh, attractive with a small mandapa a raised seat and a well surrounded again that whole thing should be surrounded by a wall these are the characteristics of the yoga matha sir which will help us to achieve the siddha to practice yeah, hatha yoga, yoga sir nice thank man you, sir. nice thank, thank you, you sir. yes now hermitage has selected location location selected which location he will set his hermitage 
as like uh, uh, you know we can give the example of ram do you know the ramayan story that uh, chitrakut story where he put his hermitage very hardly he selected that location lord rama and after 13 years then uh, uh, that uh, surpan kha came and then other fights started but before they lived very perfectly till 13 years in the forest hope you know that story so that also you can use the example of same yeah in the sloka number 14 is telling evam vide mathe sthitva mathe meaning that hermitage that hut qualities already we have discussed pre in previous sloka sthitva meaning sit there sarva chinta vivar no any kinds of worry no any kinds of extra thoughts my family what how they will survive uh, how I will get money, what happened to the country. No, any kinds of extra thoughts should be there. It is very, very important here. Sorry for the interruption, sir. Sitva means? Sitting. Sitva meaning batna. Sitting. Sitting. Okay, select okay. that also. Okay. Guru Padishta Margena. Okay, first control your thoughts. Okay, no any kinds of worry. Then, Guru Padishta, whatever your Guru suggested, that you have to do practice like that. So, same practice followed, which your Guru recommended to you. Without Guru, it's really so difficult and it may be harmful also. That's why the Guru importance here. Without Guru, we should not practice. Okay, so guide should be with us or something his instruction should be with us. Yoga meva sambhaseta, then we should practice the yoga and only then we can get the perfectness, otherwise we cannot. Yes, one of you please conclude it first. Yes, sir. Evang vidhe mathe sthita sarvam chinta vibarjitaha. Here, uh, discussing means uh, those places uh, should be selected for yogi, and that uh, place yogi should be seen. And sthita sadva chinta vivarjita means uh, uh, here yogi should not be think uh, means how uh, he will get money or any type of tensions or any ty types of thinking. See, uh, he should be um, aware. Then guru padesh. Markena Yogam Meva Samhishyata means uh, no, what, uh, what he got from Guru, that knowledge and that mantra or any kind of techniques uh, he should be practiced here. And without uh, Guru, uh, he can't practice. Yeah, he should not practice. Yeah, otherwise it may be harmful. Okay, next is very, very life changing sloka. Life changing sloka it is. Next to sloka. Below, you can uh, associate with the, your daily routine also. How you can uh, be best. We in Bhagavad Gita, that's one sloka is there, na? Yoga, karma, sukosalam. How can, how can you get perfectness in your work, in your daily routine? So, if you uh, control these things, then you can. In any area, not in yoga practice, in business also, in study also, anywhere you can get the perfectness. If you control these six things, atyaharha, overeating, atyaharha, it means the yogi have to control his diet strictly then if he is eating too much then what happen use your mind then what happen he'll be sleepy a sickness with the body sir yeah tamas will increase in bo his body and if tamas is increasing automatically yes, sir, yes, sir. Will 
many times you notice na if you eat too much then uh, your mind uh, become dull for few hours it is common and most of the guys they feel sleepy also just after the food many times it happens if anyone he is eating too much or heavy food that's why a yogi should control his diet overeating is not suggesting for the yogi it is first rule second and you all also because now you are going to practice uh, it is also one kind of siddhi ugc net jrf <laughs> so you have to control these things otherwise you cannot crack this exam you cannot cover the syllabus <laughs> so first control your diet from today onwards next priyasascha priyasascha meaning no any kind of extra exertion we called who much extra physical work is also not suggesting if you do too much extra physical work then what happen your body become tired and you cannot con con concentrate on the practice or study or it's extra so you should do hard work but that should not be too much here is too much exertion should be not there okay then prajalpo in my case now i am talking too much <laughs> now but here i am performing my duty it is my teaching work but in generally the yogi he should not talk it talk it to ness should be not there and because when we speak too much so much more energy we are wasting that's why you also notice most of the yogi they do not talk too much they do practice the mon sadhana most of the yogis they shut down their mouth most of the time hardly they open their mouth so so it is a third rule that uh, the people the yogi yoga sadhak have to be apply in his life and next niyama graha yes it is you will surprise that uh, niyama graha it is in too much following of the rules regulation also not good at a normal state following the rules regulation is good but adhering to the rules regulation is not good can anyone give the example of it so it will become like ocd no sir not ocd sorry it will become like ocd sir too much oh, of sorry ocd ah oh, ah oh, ocd ha ah, ocd sir we have to do like that we have to like too much of uh, uh, discipline sir that will also yeah. tax us sometimes can you give any example yeah attack you gave one example it is common too much follow okay in the case of yoga thinking, in the yoga example we are giving here okay that is the disease example now in the yoga it is common that brahm murat yogi will woke up okay and then he will go to the river and he will take bath in the river and then he will come back so it is the general rules of the natural life but uh, it is not common that every time his health will be good because yogi is also a human he may be uh, get any kind of problem fever so should he go in the fever also at morning 4 o'clock in the river is it good for him or not it is not good for him so that's why so few rules regulation yogi should follow but every time no 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 i will follow i will follow his health is not good it is not cooperating with but no i will do i will do i will do so that but negative effect will be there that's why don't to attach with too much rules and regulations 
अदरवाइज योर माइंड विल ब्लास्ट एक्स्ट्रा स्ट्रेस यू विल गेट ओके सो दैट थिंग ऑल्सो यू शुड एडोप्ट इन योर डेली रूटीन ओनली देन यू कैन गेट परफेक्टनेस next is the jan sangasth yeah it is very very important jan sangasth meaning less contacts not every common guys he is in relation no it means it it does not mean that he will not talk to the common guy no every time no any contacts for example i have more than 100 friends you may be more than 50 100 000 friends are you talking all the friends regularly no not possible but many guys they too attach with the normal public they talk them regularly how every they uh, they will ask to every home every guys how are you ye 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 plan completely time wasting completely time wasting that's why here yogi uh, swatmaram ji is suggesting no selected guy you have to uh, be in your list otherwise because of the most of the contacts your mind will disturb i am facing same problem now most of most, most of the students they call the message and now i have to reply to them also but i am noticing it is affecting my personal life it is common regularly you are receiving 50 100 calls so your mind will automatic disturb so that's why jan sangasth it meaning less contacts should be there more contacts more stress more tension less contacts happy life okay lollam lollam meaning concentrated it meaning sorry it's just opposite to the concentration my waving mind you can say waving mind unstable mind who have many kinds of hundreds of wishes it meaning yogi have to control his wishes otherwise he cannot get perfectness he cannot Uh, achieve the yoga goal so mind have to be control this is have to be control so these three thing they are telling sadvir yoga vinashyati vinashyati meaning they will destroy your yoga they will destroy your all siddhi all achievement you can't get perfectness first अत्याहार ओवर ईटिंग प्रयास ओवर एक्सर्शन प्रजल्प एक्स्ट्रा टोकेटिवनेस नियमाग्रह एक्स्ट्रा ओवर फॉलोविंग द रूल्स रेगुलेशन जन संघर्ष मैनी एवरी कॉन्टेक्ट टू नॉर्मल कॉमन गाय लोलियम वेविंग माइंड अनस्टेबल माइंड दीज सिक्स थिंग्स योगी हैव टू बी टेक केयर प्रोपरली because these six things they are destroying obstacles in the yoga path that we call the badhak tatva badhak meaning obstacles in the yoga path okay as like you can say family if any female they see got married then after married it is common it is also one kind of badhak in his practice or in his any study or any life goal it is common so so it is another matter but here i am giving the uh, the yogi example only so that example you can correlate many responsibility will be there so automatic then you will get give the less time to the practice that 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 okay so these things yogi have to be take care yes when of you conclude this uh, shloka and uh, remember it con- uh, this shloka is most important most important shloka it is yes please i yes. am okay. um, um, hello yes 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 
yeah so these uh, in this shloka uh, we should not overeat and uh, not exert like we can't do too much physical works otherwise it will affect our yoga practice a third one is uh, talkativeness we can uh, we should not talk too much unnecessarily fourth one is uh, ki if we should not always adhere to rules uh, sometime if it is not a uh, in the uh, same uh, situation then we can uh, sometime leave the rules also and then fifth one is uh, 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 avoid to company of common men and uh, sixth one is wavering mind and uh, mind is always wave it is not a stable so these are six uh, uh, things which will destroy the yogi practice and it is also called as badhaka tattva excellent 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 yoga nice next is slow it is also very very these these things see, previously these are the badhaka tattva they will destroy your yoga path and next is the sadhak tattva they will help in your yoga paths so from today from today avoid these six things in your daily routine these six things avoid it and adopt these six things only then you can crack the exam otherwise you can't <laughs> okay first is utsaha in you have to be very enthusiastic i will crack creativity you should be there i will do that sahas sahas meaning courage somehow oh, 35 books i will do i will not fear for too much syllabus i will do it i will not fear from the english i will not fear from the sanskrit no i will do you have to be that kind of courage also courage is not only go to the weapon and start fighting not no don't that is another courage in the study also normal routine also you have to follow the courage in the study now you are because you have you have to follow the your family responsibility also you have to follow your daily routine also you have to take care your child your parents your fair um, husband wife it's actually you have to take care other responsibility either you will you have the courage no i will do so th this thing th that kind of courage will help you in your practice it means always be motivated don't be demotivated next is the dhairya dhairya means patience discrimination should be here many guys what happens you heard the story of the that tortoise and the rabbit what happened with the rabbit yes please rabbit yeah, but... have no any patience he has too much energy he is running too fast oh i will do then at least last that tortoise win dhairya tortoise has the courage no slowly slowly slow and steady wins the race not a single day you cannot crack the exam not a single day you cannot remember this book but regularly you can do when you will do when you will read regularly definitely you can become good teacher more than me also it is common but need dhairya essence regular continue practice only then you can get the perfectness otherwise not next is the tattva jnana tattva jnana meaning right knowledge the knowledge should be right many many times it happens the which practice yogi is doing he that is wrong practice then how can he get the achievement you all are uh, study for the net grf but <laughs> your books are the wrong author Th their explanation is wrong many books you will see same shloka same sutra but different explanation but <laughs> in this case is really he will crack exam no because he is getting wrong knowledge he cannot crack he is not following the right path 
So tattva jana, meaning right knowledge he should be. It, that's why the need guide, need of the guru. The tattva jana he will get from through the guru. Okay. Nishchayat. Nishchayat meaning anyhow I will do. Any problem, winter is there, no problem, I will study. Or oh, night is there, I will study. At present also you are doing tapasya. It is also one kind of austerity. No, I have to do, I have to do. Now I have committed that I will crack this exam. Anyhow, any happen in my life, I will study regularly. Nishayat. Determination, we can say it is. Okay, then Jansang Parityaga, just opposite to the Badak Tattva. There is Jansanga say, company of a common man. Here, just opposite, avoid the common company. Only then you can get proper time for the practice, and your mind will be stable only then. Otherwise, mind will be unstable. Parityagata, Sadbir Yoga, Parsidyati, these are the six things which yogi have to, which Prasidyati, it means they will help in the yoga, for the Siddhi in the yoga. Okay, yes, one of you conclude it, it's also very, very important sloka, remember it, and number also, 16, yeah, yes, please. Uh, the yogi should be enthusiastic and he should be courageous means he should motivate himself and he have to keep patience for regular practice then yogi can uh, achieve his goal uh, and uh, he should have right knowledge and uh, he should have anyhow he have to do his work means determination point should be fixed then he should avoid common people contacts also and these uh, six things uh, which bring success in yoga. Excellent. I think seven has done. Yama, okay, tomorrow we'll start the Yama chapter, okay? Next sloka is, belongs to very, very important is also Yama and the Niyama. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Time has done. Yes, now please uh, don't leave the class. I'm noticing who is lefting, just completing that. Division is also important. Okay. Yeah, now, yes, we, I will, it's my common habit. I prefer the students do the revise the class. Yeah, Saravani ji, please come forward on your camera and uh, that, uh, why the yogi should uh, keep the his practice secret? When the, the sequence explain it, yes, please. Saravniji. Saravniji is not active. Yes, sir. Yeah, please do fast, Saravniji. Yeah. Okay. The Hatha Yoga is the greatest secret of the yogis, according to the, the verse 11. 11 is verse. Uh, needs to attain perfection Siddhi. Indeed, uh, it is it needs to be truthful, it must be kept secret. Then only it will be truthful, and if it, if it is revealed, it will become powerless. This knowledge is secret, and they won't share that knowledge to, any, uh, to everyone. Nice, nice. Okay, next I'm asking to Sarika ji, next uh, sutra, sloka number 12. Yeah, next sutra we have seen that Surajya Dharmike Deshe Sufikshe Nirupatrave Dhanu Pramana Pariyantram Chilagni Jalavarji De. So how should be the place of sadhana of yogi that is being explained? Surajya is a place which is well administered and Dharmik Desha is a virtuous place. Supiksha so is where arms can be obtained by a yogi. And uh, Nirupatrava is free from natural disaster. And the above four are the characteristics of the country. 
further about the hermitage it is being told it is thanu pramana paryantam so it is approximate 1.5 meter from the uh, shila agni fire etc and shila agni jala varjide means place should be free from rock fire and water and the place should be ekante should be lonely devoid of dis, uh, disturbances and matika mathye center of the hermitage should uh, he should practice in the uh, center of the hermitage so this is, these are the characteristics of the yes, place yes, where the yes, yogi yes, come forward and explain the next sutra the quality of the hut sir i already explained this sir okay, i will explain okay okay previously one. explained uh, okay i'm asking to mintu ji mintu ji come please come forward on your camera and explain it the quality of the hut mintu biswas ji are you in the class no active okay few days i will notice other then i will out you class from the class okay next prasanna ji sir shall i do now wait ma'am wait ma'am prasanna ji now i'm getting na how much you all are active <laughs> yes person yeah sir in in this shloka 13th shloka according to satva rama the hermitage of yogi uh, should alpa dware the door should be small arandre no any kind of window the place is not too low or not too high and the place should be clean weep with the kaudang the outside of the place is mandapa vedi and well khupa uh, is necessary for yogi and pra prakare boundary of wall protection from animals it is necessary excellent nice uh, i request prasanna ji please uh, by uh, any stand otherwise uh, continue it will affect your uh, posture okay sir okay okay try to make uh, your camera to front of your eyes because continue now only two classes there and uh, next week four five classes will be there continue five six hours your back cervical problem definitely within two three months you will get if posters will be like that so good thing okay. is that purchase the stand and make the screen up okay okay sir good nice yes rajeshri ma'am please explain the next uh, sloka okay sir sir i can't chant this shloka but uh, i'll explain the meaning so yes. once the place of meditation is chosen when everything is nice uh, one should establish in such a hermitage and start doing the practice according to the rules and guidelines given by the guru ji sir nice ma'am nice nice good thank you sir okay next i'm asking to prinka viswakarma ji prinka ji please come forward I already discussed this one before. Oh, oh, you discussed. Okay, next I will ask to you. Okay, the Suja ma'am, I'm asking to Suja ma'am. Yes, sir. So in this fifteenth uh, sloka, Swatmaram ji is uh, telling about Badaka Tattva. There are uh, six Badaka Tattva which he explains. One first one is overeating. because since overeating causes disease we have to uh, stop overeating and then second one is exertion that is too much uh, physical exertion should be avoided and then third one is talkativeness we should avoid too much spending energy on talking the th fourth one is adhering to rules we should not follow the rules very strictly uh, whenever it is not uh, uh it is very difficult to follow we can avoid following the rules and then next is being in the company of common people 
as uh, if we are in company with too much with common people it will consume our energy and uh, last one is unsteadiness that is a wavering mind we should be steady in our mind so these are the six bhatak tattva he explains excellent excellent ma'am excellent now priyanka ji please come i will not leave you yeah <laughs> okay yeah so uh, the 16 sutra is ki uh, enthusiasm perseverance and discrimination right knowledge and determination and we should avoid the jan sangra means common people so these are the six causes which will bring the success in our yoga so we should practice these things and take care of these thing this is the sadhak tattva excellent ma'am excellent so all others are from the yoga background students now i am calling a person who is known yoga background so nitu ma'am please come forward whatever you got from two last two days can you conclude something i know that you have no background but something if you are active in the class something you can say can you do nitu ma'am are you here nitu ma'am are you yes, here sir. yeah 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 can you hear me can you tell us something uh, today and to, uh, yesterday what we discussed can you on your camera yeah yeah uh, just a second yeah so yes, uh, so i have taken few notes from yesterday and today also so we are talking about this book which is the hatha, which is the hatha yoga and it is written by swatma ram ji the original idea of this or the entire the hatha yoga was invented by lord adinatha which is lord shiva and uh, there are few shlokas that you talked about how the ultimate goal of the hatha yoga is to attain raj yoga and that can be achieved by you know uh, practicing the yogas seriously and by following and adhering to the rules and we have been listening to the different shlokas wherein i have written everything about all the shlokas like few few points so you want me to go through all the shlokas or just few excellent I'm really so impressed with you non yoga background students just for interesting in the class and you are answering very well thank you so nice sir thank you others all are the msc backgrounds so but uh, i can mm. understand without background very active you are and how exactly you are answering really so impressive it is thank you so i think much, it's your thank you class and first time you are attending any yoga lecture i think na yes sir this is the first time yesterday's class and today's yeah. class i have attended really so nice of you good thank you yeah yeah if anyone have any kind of doubt then you can ask so all of you you have to learn from nitu ma'am also without any background how she is active in our class okay no any questions so requesting to uh, yeah rajeshwari ma'am yes ma'am uh sir i just uh, like you said that next week onwards we'll have more classes so just to plan the schedule roughly can you tell sir what would be the timings and like how no uh will inform you now i also not uh, exact uh, timing i have because according to teacher will provide the timing now okay sir okay so okay, now just try, to keep the we'll, evenings free we we'll try to keep so. most of the classes in evening if teacher is uh, not uh, available in the evening then we'll uh, change the timings okay most of the classes will be in evening okay thank you sir thank you thank you more well, thank you ma'am okay uh, so really so impressed with nitu ma'am so requesting to nitu ma'am if nitu ma'am you do you know the shanti part Hello, sir. Yes, thank you, thank you. Please uh, uh, do the Santi part, huh? Okay, sir. I'll connect with you after the class gets over to get more knowledge about this thing. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. 
you you are muted ma'am i think yeah yeah, yeah. no okay. i i told her okay 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 others guy please come forward raise your hand who will come who oh, did not radhika ji don't come radhika ma'am come forward yes sir shanti pat shanti 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 mantra sarve bhavantu sukhi na okay okay sarve bhavantu sukhi na continue ma'am continue ma sir sorry sir i am not able to reconnect okay sarve santu niramaya sarve sarve bhadrani pashyantu a ma kashcha dukha bhag bhavet om shanti shanti hi thank you radhika ma'am are you also as like you know, ma'am non yoga background sir sir are you 